Luka Doncic, 33 points, seven rebounds, five assists, one win away from going to his first NBA Finals. No team has ever come back from a 3 nothing deficit in the Finals. How does that feel? Don't even say it, man. Uh, but it feels great. No, nah, Luka, we said it. No team has ever came back from a three-game deficit. No pressure. No pressure. Shouldn't be. Um, but we got to think about next game. Uh, got to play with the same mentality. Uh, they're not going to go away. Uh, no way. So we need to prepare for the next game. We just got to think about next game. What did you guys do in the fourth quarter that are holding the 20 points? Execute our game plan. Uh, uh, me and Kai have the ball. Uh, everybody contribute. Uh, PJ with a big three. Gafford with a big and one. Uh, so everybody that was on the floor uh, did amazing. Mm. Luca, late in the game when it's close, you know you've got you, you know you've got Kyrie. What, what's your feeling, what's your confidence like in those situations? Well, big, big confidence. Uh, we have, uh, like I always say, great team. Um, a lot, of, not just me and Kai, other, other players on our team are capable of making that shot. Uh, whatever, it's a three or a layup. Uh, as you saw, like I said, PJ with a big three. Gaff with an amazing N1. Uh, so we just got to we have big confidence in ourselves. You got a little rest there to start the fourth quarter. Kyrie was cooking at that point. What are you thinking as you're watching that? I got rest. Early in the fourth. In oh, yeah. the, About two minutes. <laughs> right. Where, <laughs> where Kyrie got rest? I don't know what that is, my boy. Scored like seven points. Yeah, it's unbelievable. That's why uh, they call him some people Mr. the fourth quarter, right? Uh, no, that's the boogie man. I got that video dropping next. That's the boogie man right there. Uh, how many he scored in the fourth? Twelve. Felt like twenty. Yeah, it's amazing, you know. Uh, he's born for this situation. He's born for the clutch situations. Uh, so we just give the ball to him. Luca. Look, when Derek went out uh, with the head or the neck injury, uh, it changed the kind of complexion of y'all's defense at that point, especially when Gaffer got his third foul. Um, do you have any concerns about that going forward if he's not going to be able to play in game four? Uh, we have to have next, uh, next man up mentality. Uh, obviously, he's an amazing player. He helped us so, so much uh, in this playoffs and in the regular season. Uh, so, uh, we, obviously, we're going to miss him if he can't play. Uh, but we got to have next man up mentality. <clears throat> Luca, you guys, uh, for obvious reasons, look happy coming off the court. And, you know, you're obviously uplifted now. But I wonder how hard it might be to kind of keep an even keel, you know, with the work not being done yet. Uh, I mean, shouldn't be hard. Uh, obviously, we're up 3 0. Uh, but we just got to have, we got to focus on the next game, uh, just like. If it's 0-0, zero, zero. we got to think it's 0-0. Zero, zero. we got to go out there because uh, they're not going to go away easy. Luca, um, good day for Slovenian sport. Uh, who's bigger, you or Pogacar? Sorry? <laughs> A good day for Slovenian sport today. They won yeah. the Giro. The Giro, the Italian. How do you explain this tiny little country? Yeah, I mean, we, we, have, we are a little country, uh, but there's a great sports, sportsman all around our country, uh, so we're proud. Luca, Luca in the back here, sorry. Oh, hi, little Bree. Um, I'm just wondering, you know, Kyrie has obviously been to the finals before, he's won a finals. How much have you learned from him just being, being going through these playoffs and, and the way he performs in, in these games and, and, and throughout this partnership you've a lot, performed? A lot, a uh, lot. Just uh, right now we, we were winning by nine, and less possession, I told you, I'm tired, shit. Uh, and he told me that's, a, that's the way it's supposed to be, uh, you know. And it's just he brought that uh, calmness to our team, to me, uh, the maturity. And it's been unbelievable to have him on our team, uh, just learning from him every day, uh, positive energy always. Uh, so just, just a blessing having him on our team. Where do you think that calm comes from within him? I don't know. <laughs> you should ask him that. Uh, but I don't know. That's a question for Kai. Eh, faltando siete minutos en el último cuarto, juntaste al equipo, a los cinco que estaban en cancha, y les hablaste. ¿Qué les dijiste en ese momento? Porque creo que fue clave para mantenerse en el partido y sacar la ventaja. Oh, siempre hablamos de estar positivos. Eh, sabemos que otro equipo van a hacer, van a meter canastas, y entonces en este momento 
los junté a todos y decir vamos a ganar este partido eh, estando juntos y desde ese momento estábamos juntos y así ganamos el partido. Yeah, I'm gonna sit that one out. Y'all let me know what they say in the comments below. <laughs> I don't know. Luca, you guys went 26 or 31 from the free throw line right here. You guys went 26 or 31 from the free throw line. You specifically eight of 10 from the line. I know Jason emphasized after last game, let's make our free throws. Just was there an asserted effort to get to the line tonight and knock those down? Uh, we were just trying to play aggressive, uh, getting downhill. Uh, you know, they have you know, one of the best teams for protecting the rim. Uh, but if you go go aggressive, uh, you know, they're going to follow you or let you go. So uh, we got to keep being aggressive in the paint. Luca, you Luca, obviously you talked a little about, about Derek, his importance. Was was there a sense in the team of, of just wanting to make sure you want it for him? Yeah, I mean, uh, I went back there and I told him, we got your back, uh, you know, uh, but he was pretty shaken up. Uh, so we just, I hope, I hope he's going to be okay, man. I know you guys are a team, but but in, in a situation like that where you're down a, a key starter, you have Maxi out, how much do you just know going into a fourth quarter that, that it falls on your shoulders as, as much as everybody is, anybody else? I mean, yeah, those are two big uh, big players for us, uh, especially energy wives. They give our team a lot of energy. Uh, so we just go out there. Like I said, we have to have next man up mentality. You know, injuries are part of sport. Uh, they're terrible, but they're part of sports. So uh, we just got to have next man mentality. All right. So that's it for that video. Uh, man, Luca will not be denied. Man, I don't know what to say. Like, he, he will not be denied. No matter how many people you put on him, that boy's still going to spin around, do a whole bunch of little, little weird, freaky stuff, and wet you up, man. Wet you up at the end of the day. And then you got the boogeyman on the other end. Like, who do you take away? Who, who can you take away? That ain't, and the other person don't hurt you. But you can't let both of these dogs run free.